Okay, guys, what we have here is the new Respironics BiPAP Vision Ventilator Support System, which is your BiPAP, the new BiPAP machine that we're using at Health Alliance. And just looking at this machine, the power button is located in the back, and it, you would flip this window open, press the button, and then the machine would be on. So I'm turning the machine on. You must make sure that it's plugged in. And then this is your O2 connection. What's different about this O2 connection? Well, the other one was bled in through just a nipple, right. and that's just a liter flow, whereas this is a 50 PSI, just like a ventilator. So right. we're going to get a precise O2. Precise FiO2 now. FiO2, okay, exactly. great, great. Okay, so we come to the front of the machine, and at this point, um, what would we do next? Well, at this point, well, the respiratory therapist is probably going to already have this set up for you. So this is a screen that you will be most likely seeing. Again, the alarm button is right here. Right, alarm button here if you have the alarm. Okay. Um, and then you'll see the actuals of what the patient is getting. Inspiratory pressure, expiratory pressure, FiO2. And then down here you can see their tidal volume and rate and various items like that. Okay. Again, so you, the alarm button. If you've set this up for us and the physician wants a higher FiO2, we're at, right now we're at 60, mm -hmm. so we're on monitoring mode now. Right. So I'd have to go, I would have to go to parameters, right, to adjust this. So I'm going to reach down here, is monitoring mode, I'm going to go to parameters, press parameters, mm -hmm. and now I can go up to the FiO2, press this button once, mm -hmm. now it's highlighted, now I can use the dial control here to change that. So if I wanted to go to an 80 FiO2, I would simply turn right uh, clockwise, mm -hmm. and there I'm at 80. Mm -hmm. Likewise, I could decrease as well. Correct. Once I've done that, I should press this button again. Correct. And that setting is in place. Now you're eighty percent. And now I still, I'm still in the uh, parameters mode. So to get back to monitoring, I just come back down and press the monitoring button. Mm -hmm. And while in monitoring mode, whatever I do to this will not matter. I have to be in parameter mode and actually to adjust. And the only thing our staff should be worried about actually adjusting, if they need to, is the FiO2 until the respiratory tech comes. Correct. Correct. Okay, anything else you want to say? Uh, I think the, the great thing you talked about, too, is how you can take the, when you're taking the mask off, just... Yeah, this is the beauty for nursing. Um, when you're in the monitoring mode and you're seeing what the patient's actually doing, but let's say the patient wants medication or you need to give the patient medication. If you, again, you do not, don't play with the Velcro, right. but if you just use the snaps that are on the side of the patient, the respiratory therapist will probably have it set up. If you just unsnap them, and then you can lift the mask of the pa off the patient like so, so that their mouth and nose is exposed, then you can hit standby, and you right. won't get that annoying alarm. Cool. Give them their medication, and then when you're done giving them medication, drink, whatever, you just put it back on, and it will kick on automatically. Automatically. Right. As soon as the mask makes contact with the patient, senses that, the machine will come on automatically. Correct. Awesome. And, and another thing you can do is if you want to put them on standby, and they're doing better, which is what happens a lot of times, you can actually just leave it in standby, put on the other oxygen, and call your respiratory therapist and he'll come get it. It is kind of sensitive, so you don't, might not want to leave it on standby too long. Okay. Because it just keeps on kicking on sometimes. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So if they take the, uh, the BiPAP off, go to the standby function here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. I think that concludes it.